Yo, what up gamers? We are back for another game of... Or another episode of Zaya the Diamond. This time we're going to be playing Zaya Sana into Varus Zyra. Uh, I guess we'll be a... Like a... A little bit of a tough matchup, but definitely should be winnable. Uh, I probably should have gone a Mar. I only realized that towards the end of champ select. Their team is literally entirely magic damage, except for Varus. So also does some magic damage, so... Actually, should have gone a more over armor. Would have been more useful, but too late now. At least the armor is also good for turret shots, for minions, for Drake, for general camps. Armor is generally overpowered compared to Amar, but this would have been like the one exception to run Amar in. We should go ahead and place some vision actually. I'll place it here. If you can't really, if you can't place like a ward here and a ward here, this is like the best middle ground where it covers both areas. You can both see the enemy jungler coming at you from the river, and you can also see if they come out of the tri brush. It's unlikely we'll get ganked, but there could have been a level three Maokai gank. Could still be in theory. Okay, we've seen our car tops out, I believe. No one will block my path. There's not much to do here. I can't really go through aggressive on them. All I can do is try and set up some feathers behind Varus and just hope he eventually walks into them. Or either one of them. That's fine because we should all scale anyway, I believe. So the scaling should be greater than Zyra scaling. Especially, I mean, given their comp, actually, like it doesn't even matter what their ball in is. It's just terrible. They have way too much magic damage. So if we just if we were to just chill and go completely even, that would be heavily favored towards us towards winning the game after. Only if our team falls really far behind that we actually want the lead. Obviously, we should try and get one if we can, but no need to panic just because we're not stomping them. For now. Careful. I just got nine gold from those plants. We're also running cleanse given the fact that they have five different champions with roots or stuns. Well, actually, I decided to run cleanse when I first saw their, like, first three champs in champ select. Didn't even realize they kept on picking more champs that cleanse is good against. I actually should look into data for this patch and see whether it might be smart to max something that isn't D now. Because the E damage is actually so nerfed early on. Still good later on, but damn. Probably won't be because I think the only... Like, you definitely want... Uh, W and D maxed. By level 13. And so, but you don't want to max W and laning phase of the thing. So, oh, this could be good. Nice one. I don't drag that out too much since I don't have W. We can do that, Drake. I think we should. I'll ignore this wave. Uh, this wave is good. Maybe I should have gone for the cannon, but no, let's do this, do this, do this. Kha'Zix. Does he get that kill at least? Okay, I get the XP from the Mark I call. Varus gets a kill, then we don't get a Drake. Well, that blows. Um, it's like 50-50 whether that would actually push towards me or not. Yeah, this could be good. Get me out. 
Okay, I think now I just, yeah. Mm. So it's now pushing towards me. The wave is fucked. But at the same time, I'm so low that I can't do too much to shove this still. They might not even be entering lane here, which means I'll get to shove it out for free. And I think I have to take that risk. I mean, I don't have to, but it's worth a shot. We already see Varus was trying to recall at least, and I think I saw Zyra recalling as well. I think I'm going to get away with this. They should have been entering lane, I think, because I don't think either one of them was as low as me, and Senna was also pretty low. Okay, awesome. Uh, let's go for no cover in case we need to be sitting under threat a bit more. We can go for Berserk is off there. Mm. They should push towards me, it's on their side of the map, so I'm gonna rotate over here. See if I'm needed. Looks like probably not. I'll leave the Blaskin up. My jungler might want to gank with it at some point. Decent chunk there. Alright, we got all of those lost hits. Nearly six. Out. God, that did so little damage. Oh man, of course they're the ones that get the Drake. Oh well. Okay, he wasted his gold card. Can't really kill him, but at least we slightly chunk him. Okay, versus now six. I don't have my cleanse up for another 45 seconds, so we gotta stay away from him. Ooh, okay, just barely got that cannon. I couldn't even get him ranged for my Q to hit it. Only my E could hit it, because if I get any closer, I'm at risk of getting Zara E'd, so... Kinda risky, but... Cancel his base, cancel his base. I have to do it myself then. <laughs> Even though her W is longer range and doesn't prevent me from lost hitting. And also has more mana than me. <laughs> I should have just let him base actually. Cause now I don't know if I'm safe to shove in or not. I guess I am though. If, he's, if he tries to freeze this, I'll stay, but if he doesn't, then I'm just spacing because he won't show up this cannon wave in time. Nice. Yeah, but now that they're level 6, though, the matchup becomes dramatically harder. Both of their ultimates are a lot stronger than our ultimates, I would say. At least in terms of kill potential. My ultimate will at least keep me safe from them. Nice one. Actually, all of that from there. Wonder where where Avaris is.
anybody about anything is never on my to-do list. Hmm. Where's he going? The Kha'zaks. Not bad. No need to use ult there. Then this is a longer cooldown, but at least we get to keep ultimate for our potential combat this way. And Zara wasted her flash just to burn the cleanse, which is not worth it. Oh, that's bad though. Okay. We're getting a lot of attention from the jungler. That's fine. They're not getting a massive lead or anything. In fact, we're still ahead in farm, just because it, or Varus has some random kills from Kha'Zix. Alright, Varus has no mana now. I'm assuming Zara already based. I don't necessarily want to all in him here, I just want to kind of keep him here. Although, was, okay, Zara's around again, actually. I can tell because she just placed a plant there, or a seed. Or is that, or is that just that it... Actually, I can't tell. It could just be that I just randomly gained vision of it. Because Varus auto attack from the brush, because it seems like it's in the brush. No, okay, she did spawn it there. Got him. Wanted to wait and see whether that would actually root him or not before flashing. Nice one. Jeff currently dead, but he might have ult for all I know. Strike up. Yeah. Oh, well, we're clearly not doing that. <laughs> Wall base then. Oh, please don't have vision. Alright, I'm good. <laughs> Might be a girl first game. And again, Maka might get a little bit tanky. I'll go Kraken Slayer. Okay, nice. Actually would have escaped. If he just had run. We have so many people here. If Varus shows up here, we might be able to... Yeah, dive him, exactly. Good job, team. <laughs> Didn't realize he was already there. Can you not go for my wave, though? Why, man? <laughs> Close. Should get the streak soon. Kha'Zix should be popping Drake now, not the red buff. Yeah, Genki Tiff is good there, too. Because it's on the way to the Drake. I don't think Kha'Zix needed to use ult there, though. Alright, I guess we're just gonna solo it then. That's fine as well. Oh, yikes. <laughs> No way, if I just pressed D, I think he would have died. Oh well. <laughs> Varus, what the fuck? <laughs> Thought he might have something up his sleeve, but no, he just... Lost the 1v1 straight up. When he could have walked away. Still with my ult and cleanse, anything he might have had cooking was just not gonna be smart. Oh, didn't see this. Got him. Nice one. When he's walking at an angle like that, you gotta be really fast with the QE. Because you need to make sure that the, when you press C, the first feather um, happens for, uh, fast enough that the first feather, even though they're walking at an awkward angle, is still gonna be able to actually hit him. 
Because without the first feather, the next two feather setting doesn't matter. It's not going to be a root. Oh, what the hell? What the fuck? <laughs> okay. Please don't cancel me, thank you. It's not gonna pull him all the all the way over here, is it? No, I don't see a flying maka on the map, sad. They say I don't know when to quit. Like that's a weakness. It's all fucking Warwick get executed the other day on my team. Cued somebody like around here, right as they finished their base and he ended up getting executed here. Oh what the fuck? Okay, they had an AFK. Rise, I guess. Alright, GG. Alright gamers, we are back for another game of Zaya. This time we're playing Zaya Brand and two Jinx Zerath, so double mage bot lane. Or double mage matchup. I'm gonna be starting off with the Q since we're definitely not gonna be going for level one all ins here. Like that's a weakness. And overall should be an okay matchup. Jinx outranges me a bit, but I've got ghosts, so I should be able to easily all in there whenever I want to. Just need to make sure we're not falling too far behind in HP to the Zerath poke. After a great start already. Jinx is definitely an easier matchup to navigate if you actually have an engage support. For now she can just walk up and do that. I can fight back to do her superior range. Okay, that's good. We'll pop ghost. She's dead. No, I'm okay. Nice one. Good shit. Should have one more wave brand. Don't abandon me. So once we actually land an engage, then it becomes easy. Props to brand for that. Oh, that's looking like a very good dive for them. Nice one. Damn it. I do not have enough attack speed for this shit. Oh well. I'm gonna auto attack as much as I can here to regain HP from my life still. We massively accelerate our HP regen this way. Oh, damn, I thought that would reach. place a ward here if they have a pink we can clear that right now i'm gonna use w to clear faster nice one i'll 
Holy oh, fuck, those traps actually had a decent chance of hitting me. Even though I wasn't slowed. We're playing the matchup really well so far. Playing a lot better than Jinx or Zerath. Ooh, come on, I started Mato, I should have gone off. That's annoying. Free Brandstone if he wants it. One more auto and she's dead. Ah, god damn it. Okay. No, I'm probably dead now as well. Damn it! God that blows. Okay, at least the Earth should be dead here, unless maybe not. I guess not. Okay, that sucks. Brand was definitely out of position to begin with. I got a free boot on or on Jinx while trading one v two. Like he should not have. Like I don't know why he's that far back, right? Oh, I mean he got hit by his FQ, but then why back off? How are they gonna finish him off, right? Press the dodge the Jinx W that I'm tanking for him. Okay, I mean my main mistake was just chasing Jinx off there. I just thought I could get him range for Nato. Sucks. Unless we got boots now. <coughs> if our existence is everyone else's chaos, so then I have vision right now. I might be able to choose someone as they ward. Okay, they don't have any pinks to place there, so I'll just ward. Oh god damn it! Okay, that's not bad then. Ow. Okay, decent damage. Wasn't the worst red in the world, and we're the ones getting a gank. <laughs> nice one. Sadly, nothing for Viego though. Yeah, it was a little bit greedy pathing, honestly. I'm kind of lucky it worked out. I think God Zerath missed the stun as well. I mean, I still have the summoners to escape if I needed to, but wouldn't have been nice to blow summoners there either. God, I hope I'm okay to shove this in. If Zerath is in lane, I'm probably gonna die here because I need to angle myself. Yep, I need to go into that fucking brush to fucking shove the wave. It's so annoying. Literally, if I can't shove this wave properly unless I angle myself here, that's the downside of playing Zaya. Is that I know that if Xerath is cheesing me, he's gonna be in this brush and I'm gonna die if he's there, but like, what else do I do? <laughs> I can't shove the wave unless I go there. Sucks. Like, that's the reason why Bran shouldn't have abandoned me though, because with the job, it, 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 did the job look done here? Few here, look, look. Job ain't done. This wave is not under turret. Does that look like a done job to you? Doesn't to me? Job ain't done, so why did it leave? Oh, I, was born I gotta shove that. Just unlucky that Brand or that Zerath was smart there. And Brand did not think of the same thing. God damn it, we're getting ganked. We got him, we got him. No, come on. <sighs> Damn it, my bad. Oh, I thought we saw somebody in the river from our team though. I would have actually just tilted straight away. Because I wanted to kill Vi and then use my ultimate to run away, rather than use my ult to finish off Vi and dodge skill shots, then to just probably still die. Or at least have to leave the fight. I think it was just pings that I confused for uh, an allied champion on the map. Yeah, somebody was pinging the river while Vi was literally already in the lane. That was red. Oh well. Victors are the sole 
It's the things on the map that I saw and thought it was an ally. Anyway, but unfortunate that our lane has been turned around this hard. Let's hope we can pull it back. <laughs> it's both the uh, supports that are mainly bad in this matchup. For sure. That nope. Oh, okay, she flashed. Both summoners are down from her. Damn, thought that wouldn't hit. We still got some sustain and potion on my autos. All right, we want to shove this in ASAP because Jinx definitely wants the base there. If she stays, it's gonna be greedy. We can maybe uh, bait her into staying by shoving this wave in, so she doesn't want to miss a cannon wave. And if she does base, then we can also just add the Xerath, so that's another reason why we want to shove this in. Fucking hell, why is she still here? What? Dude, if I had Trump, I actually could have won, but what the hell? Who? What? Was she doing golems? Because there's no point in her staying there. I mean... Ooh, oh, no, 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 Brent, Brent, Brent! Oh, no, bro. <laughs> what the fuck? I mean, that's really smart of her if she just knew that we were gonna dive. But if it was some stupid bullshit, like she was actually on the golems, then I'm just really tilted. Because I've n this has never happened to me before. The enemy ADC staying on 10% HP, just out of vision, just waiting to clean up for a dive. I've never done it. I've never seen a challenger player done it. I've definitely never seen a gold player do it. That is crazy smart if she actually thought of that. But it, I, like, I don't know if it's more likely that it was smart or if she got lucky and she was actually doing something stupid like being on golems. But I have to look at the replay. <laughs> Not gonna get me. Ooh, damn. Almost got an assist. Okay, that's her dead. Definitely going for Kraken Slayer again this game. One tank and one bruiser on the enemy comp. Yeah, Brent should already be moving and I'll move over after the plating. No one will block my path. There we go. Alright, nice. Ow. He's gonna keep trying to cancel my base. Wait, they couldn't get this fucking turret. Oh, they seem to have vision there. Oh, damn it. Traps is still there. Yeah, if I fucking abandon this, they're gonna get the turret on the next wave. Brent still hasn't left the base, man! Bro, they're gonna get it. I swear to god, it's a cannon wave. Yep, that's fucking lame. Told him to cancel his base. Ah, that was meant to be ult. My bad. At least she's dead here. How oh, the fuck am I still alive? Bro, what? Excuse me? How do I live? Oh. Spoke too soon. <laughs> but how did I live there? What? I fucked up so hard. God damn. Well, I'm not complaining, but goddamn, the fucking jungler. 
I mean, our jungler's doing well, but none of our laners are actually winning. Like, we basically have three losing lanes here. At least Tom Kench isn't doing too hot either, actually. Actually, I guess when you put it that way, Fiora isn't really losing. She's just as behind as her opponent. I guess she outskills him, though. Or at least 1v1 she does, at least. Oh god, what are you doing? What? I changed my mind. Fiora's losing her lane. <laughs> Fuck. What did I just witness? At least she lives. I could have gone on her there, actually, with Ghost. I'm still gonna do it. That's fine, we don't need the root to kill her. Just need to stay in her range, which if she jukes the E, is still gonna keep her in my range. Okay, wow, they're pretty much aced. Awesome. Yeah, oh, by the way, the explanation for why my flash was so stupid, I couldn't make up my mind as to whether I should flash past the traps, or ult over them, and with my ult, obviously, instead of, like, aiming backwards, I'll be aiming forwards, right? So I did a mix. I flashed forwards. Because I would have... Because if I ulted, I would be aiming forwards, right? So that's... That's that. That was a mix of flash and ult. The worst fucking possible combination. No excuse for it, but I know it does happen even to greater players than me. Very rare, but occasionally you just can't make up your mind and you just get the worst fucking cursed combination of inputs. Yeah, Jinx is obviously gonna shove this in, so I'll be there to catch the wave. And from the next one, I've actually got a leader uh, against her again now. Did I ever get a shutdown? Don't know. Probably not. Should I actually crash this? Because I can shove two waves here instead of one if I just slow push this instead of crash. Or, you know, hard shove. That means I'm not going to be there in time for a fight if they do fight, though. See, I mean, this strategy is good. Like, what I'm doing here is good. Thing is, it's not good for solo queue, right? This is good macro, but it doesn't fucking reward you if players are just going to be perma-fighting no matter what, which is what usually happens in the solo queue. This time it looks like I may be rewarded, though, because I can, I can actually just base for Navori here, and nothing happened in mid lane that I would have been able to help with anyway. And so why don't I just, like, shove in- why do I do that and not just shove in two waves directly? Because instead of shoving in the second wave here, I get to shove it in here, where I'm much safer. And nobody, like, wants to actually... ...punish me. Still, it worked out really well this time, because I had... I wanted enough gold for Navori, but in general I wouldn't recommend doing that too much. Oh. Nice one. Holy shit. Ooh, close one. Okay, nice one. Oh, hello. Got him. Holy fuck, that was a lot of ult damage. 457. Damn. Not bad. Um, They've got that, right? Yeah, the only person alive is Jinx. I'm just going to get the turret. <coughs> Where's Shinx, anyway? I'll get the Scuttle Crab. Never mind, I won't. Maybe blue? Blue is not up. We know this is, though. I think we just had vision there. I did like 1,400 damage, that's crazy.
I'm so tempted to start testing either uh, Triumph or Overhill on Zaya, but God, playing the mid game without a blue buff and without Presence of Mind would be so boring. Uh, I might go for Lord Dominix here, given Tom Kench's build. I think it's the right move. We can do Blood Pistor off there. If I even win this? Okay. <laughs> okay. Not bad. Old fault. Flash for no flash. Goddamn, nobody's punishing Jinx though. I was thinking about it earlier, I was like, damn, I would love to punish Jinx, but if I go there and then she leaves, then I'm wasting my time. But, like, somebody who can actually split push should have been dealing with that. Because then they're not wasting their time if she stays. If they, or if she doesn't stay. Knowing that she just gets a free objective like that for poor macro. A 600 gold worth objective. So this is another situation where I could have just slow pushed. Because I want to get enough gold for Lord Dominix. Ideally before the next fight, but if I do that, then Fiora is just going to come top anyway. And again, I won't be around for any fights that might happen. Ah, oh, damn it. Just the cannon. Yeah, I love. Well, I don't think they noticed the buy there. I think he's fucked. Eventually, at least. He was also getting 1v1. Oh, so close. Come on. There we go. He, he didn't have vision on me there, so he couldn't insta W even if I was in range. Okay, that should be Echo getting a kill, right? Oh, or is it? Got her. Actually, I need to walk away here. Fucking hell. <laughs> here we go, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, that guy is so tanky. That's why we need Lord Dominix. And the rest of it is why we need blood to stir. I'm gonna die eventually. No! Fuck, are you shitting me? Oh man. That blows. Didn't want to flash too early in case I don't make the fucking jump. Oh well. Should have just saved my flash. It was pretty unlikely I would ever survive there. Because even if I managed to get the flash off, like I didn't know if you was TPing, right? So I gotta assume she's gonna keep chasing me down with more and more Qs because she I don't I can't match the mobility. Ooh. Nice. Brand basically got a solo kill there and that and Vigo kill still. Alright, I'm doing this thing now. Uh oh. Okay, we got it. <laughs> the double echo ult. Feathers. 
Nice one. We go get red buff. Um, maybe should have gone there, but it's still there now. I'll just keep pushing mid. My team has got top lane covered. Oops. Okay, I've already got Bloodthirster just through farming. I don't know what my stats per minute was before all the sequence of events, but I just got a ton of farm in a very short time period. I'm almost at 10 stats per minute now. I'd like this blue if possible. Yeah, I think in future videos I'll actually just use Triumph and maybe Overheal, and we'll just see how we get on without Overheal. Or without Presence of Mind, sorry. I can push bot. I can move one literally anybody right now, so... I don't mind split pushing now if I need to. Well, I was collecting blue, so I don't know what, what you wanted me to do. Fine, I don't mind thinking this. Ooh. Just vice to Levolt. Ah, oh, he landed on top of me, my bad. Okay, nice. That's fine. I need life steal. <laughs> there we go. Got him. Nothing to life still off of though. Ooh. Took damage from something there. Probably Ludens. There's golems for me to heal off of, and also I need just a little bit more gold for Fire Cannon. Could also go GA, honestly. Like, GA is probably the best choice in a game like this. I'm so ahead. If they can never kill me, then we just win for free, but Fire Cannon is more fun. Rebellion puts the fire in my blood. We can maybe get this in hub? Mm, it's too risky by myself, but... Okay, we got it. Ah, I failed an auto, so I don't get that. I need to flash out. I need to play safe because I don't have ult or ghost. Ah, close. Okay, I currently do have ult. Ow. Which I may need to use. Better safe than sorry is what I call that ult. This time catch is so fucked. <laughs> get so many of my feathers behind them. Let's get the strike. That's gonna be our soul. I got the, my E to secure this. Nice. I suppose we are gonna end. What is the point in basing? Really 
Uh oh. <laughs> okay. GG. Yo, what up, gamers? We are back for another game of Zaya the Diamond. This time we're playing Zaya Sana into Kaisa Rakan. And this time, true to my word, I'm going to be testing out Triumph. Although, really, I should have tested Overheal this game. Uh, it occurred to me too late that it's actually pretty decent into engage lanes because the fact that they're not going to be poking away at you until they've engaged, meaning you're not going to be losing HP and can actually have some time to form an overheal shield. Whereas in poke lanes, it's not that useful because you're never going to get to actually generate the shield anyway, right? If you're constantly getting poked. So overheal can be pretty good in all-in lanes if you're the one going to be getting all-in at least. Meanwhile, Sun also has a heal, which will keep us at full HP, which gives us the chance to form the over heal shield as well. We all attack Rakan once, but then we focus Zaya mainly. There we go. Really good trade for us there. They only focus Senna, so that's not as good for them as our trade was. They're going to be hitting level 2 first, though, most likely. We'll see. It would be great if Senna would hit the wave. So we'd have a chance, but I guess not. Okay. Okay, we got it now. Rakan should have been posturing more forwards as well, so we could actually zone me from getting XP. Interesting chase going on there. Nice one. And so the worst part of not running uh, presence of mind, as well as that, uh, if I happen to get a 2v2 kill in lane, I'm not going to have mana left over, probably, to actually shove the wave. That's one thing I was thinking about. Wait, what? Oh, I accidentally put two points in E. My bad. That was meant to be a point in W. Yeah, so because we're gonna be running less mana, we have to play less, like, poke-focused, using Q to, QE to poke as much, and more all-in focused. We need our ability usages to be, like, more efficient in how much damage they deal relative to mana spent, which means we gotta mix in a lot of auto-attacks every time we go for trades. And I just go for ability-only trades. No chance. Ow, what the fuck? How did that hit me? And why did the melee walk forwards? Damn it. At least I got the cannon. Okay, we got W now. No, they clearly have vision. We're not going to make a gank work. What we can do, though, is we can just shove in this wave. And then just base. Whoops. If the next wave is a can wave, then this is perfect as well, but... Oh, could be very good. Okay, I guess we're staying in the end to try and abuse this. Oh, fuck me. Let's pop a ghost here. Ah, damn it. God, I hope the jungler isn't around. No, no, no. Okay, nice. Got it. So we're either base here or I cheese. I think, uh... 
<laughs> no, no. Okay, okay. Okay, choosing is no longer an option. Which sucks because now they also know that I'm not choosing and they can confidently shove this in. Oh well. Go for noon cover and uh, refillable. Chaos is the preferred state of nature. Would have gone berserk as if I could also get coal, but it's not important. <laughs> That's just because of my bias towards coal. Oh, noon cover is probably better. Oh man, look at this guy. Didn't catch whether Zaya flashed or, or Kaisa flashed or not. By the way, I think uh, probably would be even better to run either Overheal or Triumph on Zaya if you were actually running cookies, because that way you actually have some mana regen or some some form of extra mana that isn't just the, over, the presence of mind. I might find that I'm a bit too mana starved running. No presence of mind without even running cookies, but we'll see. Oh. No one will block I'll get this cannon and then see if I can help there. Or do they need a bit of shove? They might need a bit of shove. Let's go do this trick. Nice one. Oh, I'm blind. I should have noticed that. No. Okay, they're not level 6, they can't easily all in me here. My team looks healthy, so they shouldn't be killable there either. Sometimes people die for a good cause. Mainly mine. That's why I'm an optimist. Warding there just in case Rakan got that then has had to try and flank me through. Like here. Probably would have been seen by the minions, but I, I'm, I'm never 100% sure whether that works or not. Are you guessing about minions or not? Okay, I think Zaya may have based here, so we'll try and crash this. Even though this is super close to the turret, Zaya's like the 180 C in the game that can actually crash this in time. Rum here. Because, it, because of the travel time of the minions to have to get from all the way from here to the exact opposite side of the lane, usually it's just not possible, but yeah, that's going to be a clean crash. It's going to give us Berserkers as well. Not even Jinx could do that. Or probably Sivir. Maybe at this stage Sivir could, I don't know. But they're definitely the only two. And Zaya can do it earlier than Sivir can. Oh damn, I thought she ever come there. Nice one. Pop oh god, I only meant to pop ghost. Whatever, this flash is decent anyway, I guess. Might be a bit overkill though. No, Senna, there was no need. 
Oh, hello. Ulting because he's almost certainly gonna ult. Shouldn't really be doing this. He flashed on me though, right? So he's gonna flash right now. This is of a herald. Doesn't want to dive me though. I said like can't stay to crush another wave. <laughs> nice try, Wukong. Okay, so far so good in the mana department. Yeah, I definitely did not need to flash there is the thing. My ghost would have been good enough to catch up with Kaisa and I only needed to flash if she flashed. That was just a flat finger when I ghosted. I'll move over. Okay. This whole time Cass has been missing out on farm. I've missed out a little bit as well, maybe one or two CS, but not much. It's possible I missed out on zero, but I doubt that. Fuck. I mean, all the waves walking away from me, so I missed some more there. Alright, there we go. I don't want to base yet, so we'll just slow push. I'm putting crashing until I want to base. I got a really big lead over Zai, actually. Look at my XP compared to hers. The level's up. We angle ourselves here so that we get a root, or would get a root. That's fine. Yeah, but she's going to be running to the left, like in a straight line to the left. So what we want to do is position ourselves from here to here. Before we run out of passive feathers. That wish has to flash the root, would be root. This is good. Oh, I didn't mean to auto him, but it will. Oh, but stop watch, man. That could have been huge. Alright, I need to get out. Ooh, careful, Senna. Where's that? That's Wukong, right? Damn, that would have been sick if not for the Wukong or the Rakan stop watch, man. Rakan or Wukong might. Yep, jump this wall. Damn it. Whoa, I got vision of him, but now I've lost it again. <laughs> Worth a shot. Nope. Fuck, I'm dead. Unless... Ah, oh, damn it. Fuck, my bad. I was thinking about the E, but I didn't think about the fact that the clone lets him go over the wall. Uh, This is really good if nobody gets here in time to crash this in, though, but when did... No, Kai said that ages ago. There's surely no way she doesn't crash this, right? Yeah, that's really bad for me. There's gonna be a lot of farm missed. Somebody at least should get this. Maybe Volibear can do it off to Drake. Nice man, the Drake's just too tanky. We're just gonna miss out on this, which sucks. And we might even lose the threat if we're unlucky. Somebody should really be defending that and getting the farm, but... It's not my business. Senna, he didn't need the help with the Drake. Well, I guess this way they might actually kill Kaisa rather than get the farm. She's gonna flash, so she's probably dead here. Oh, unless, unless. She's surely fucked. Alright, nice one. Holy fuck, that Mordekaiser build. So we really should have just let this turret kill most of that wave, but too late now.
We can also check the Raptors and rotate towards the mid. Maybe get a gank off there. When GP arrives back into lane. Nope. So much for that. Still, I can steal all this away. Wukong is going to be really sad about this. Let him go on you. Ah, messed up the brute. Ow. Would have been really good if Katarina just let that hit him, though. I mean, it should be me that stays mid, but I don't trust Katarina to actually leave. Nature bends towards chaos. Give in or break. So I'll just go there myself. No bother wasting time trying to communicate to Katarina to go ball when she might just refuse to. But basically, I mean, I just siege that turret much more effectively than Katarina does, right? Since I'm a range champion. That's why... Part of the reason why, at least why, um... Would be better for me to stay mid. Another reason is that generally mid laners, especially assassins like Katarina, are a lot safer on side lanes than ADCs. But I've got ghost up, I've got ult up, and I'm not really concerned about my safety on my side lane by myself. It's mainly just about the fact that I could have gotten a turret and probably also survived there. I'll try and flank here. Hopefully I'm not running into enemies here. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, well. <laughs> Why didn't she go bot? Fuck. She could be pressuring bot right now. Getting free farm. Oh well. Okay, they have vision here, clearly. Oh boy. I got ult, but I'm not confident in my chances of surviving against Morikaza right now. If he ults. I'm too good at this, man. I've played every single one of his barrels. <laughs> Except for one that I chose not to go for until it was too late. <laughs> ah. Missed the root again. Um. Well, Rakan flashed on me for nothing. <laughs> Well, we're not gonna get this turret so long as they keep sending four people to defend every time and nobody on my team tries to actually take it. They're a whole lot more interested in defending turrets right now than my team is in, is on taking them. But that being said, they finally slipped up. They're going to defend against Katarina. Defending bot lane turret. Again, just defending turrets is all they want to do. <laughs> finally leaves one turret vulnerable at least. And they're gonna lose another one on top lane. Nice one. Does it can wave? Yeah. I'm spacing anyway. Only want to spend this gold. Does not have smite. Nice. 
Nice. One. Holy fuck, I popped off that fight. Did so much fucking damage. I wonder how much damage it did. Had to have been at least 2,000. And again, so far, presence of mind. Not noticing the lack of it. We've gained nearly 200 gold from Triumph, which is nothing. Not nothing, sorry. <laughs> it's the opposite of nothing. I just gotta be more careful about my mana usage is all. Well. At least until I've got blue buff. Oh god. No! You're shitting me, bro. <laughs> Fuck, man. Well, that sucks. My bad. If I just rushed to blue instead of doing wolves. I would've had that. I guess I also didn't expect Wukong to rush to their blue either. Given the state of the map, like, currently, like, his team is literally fighting in the top side jungle and it, or bot side jungle and it didn't... I don't think they have vision there. He just ran to blue and called me there. Oh well. You live and learn. I learned nothing from this. But maybe, maybe one of you did. I'm just gonna go for... Bloodthirster, even though Mordecai's is stacking a ton of fucking armor. I think we'll be fine anyway. He's not gonna, really gonna get that tanky compared to like a Tom Kench. Wally Bear should pick up that wave. I mean, I can go top, but I'm not gonna get there in time for that wave. We can go for the next one. Oh, damn. Well, I might as well stay mid now, I guess. Or we can do Baron, we can do Baron. They're gonna go on Fiora. Fuck, they have vision though. Doesn't matter. They're just too uh, caught up on killing Fiora. Well, there's no smite, so I'll save my E now. There we go. Does Fiora even live in the end, or...? Guess she got a kill. I think she wins that. Okay, double. Oh, okay, she does in the end. But that's good. Could have almost set up a root on him without using Q. Ghost here. Whoa, whoa, I didn't notice how many feathers I had behind them. <laughs> nice. God damn. Let's get this. One team are fine without me, I can just steal away camps. Definitely don't want to use Q while killing camps, so it's like, relative to the mana that it costs, it's the least efficient. In terms of damage, yeah. Like, the amount of damage it deals, for the amount of mana that it costs. W and D are way better. Doesn't matter, anyway, we're ending. GG. Yo, what a gamers, we are back for another game of Zaya. And... Believe me when I say that these Senas are not actually paid actors. I do not know what they are doing in my games. I don't know what I did in a past life to deserve three Senas in four games. All I want in life is a submissive little Yumi kitten. And all I keep getting are Dami Mami Senas. But that's life, I guess. 
You gotta play with the hand you are dealt. What? Oh. I guess you don't gotta play with the hand you're dealt. Huh. Who'd have thunk? Yo, what up gamers? We are back for another game of Zaya, and I am shitting you now. We have a fourth Senna. A fourth Senna. In the fifth game of the video. How crazy is that? I swear to God, I'm not pre and I'm pretty sure it's not even the same Senna. Just incredible luck or lack of it potentially. Gonna be facing Jinx Lux, which is kind of annoying to face against the Zaya, I would say, when you don't have an engage support, but we'll see what we can do. Already managed to win a similar lane today. Shit. And I did decide to listen to my own advice this time and actually run. Inspiration with the Triumph. I'm not running over here this time, even though I suggested for the previous game it would have been good, because this time around we don't actually have um, an engaged matchup, and so over here it's not going to be quite as good. Sana was aware of extended their mana, couldn't do anything to help her. Plans would have been really good in this lane, by the way, but I'm running. Ghost for the better scaling in the mid game. And potentially, if I do manage to dodge a Lux binding, then I can just run them down with Ghost and get kills that I wouldn't have had with Cleanse. Oh, Jesus Christ, the Senna, bro. Close, man, close. If that one feather hit her, she would have been rooted and I might have had a kill. Ah, damn it, I missed that. Should go play some vision, actually. There we go. Did they already use heal? As far as I can tell, no. So the most I can try and kill Lux here with is just with a QE combo. We did a lot of damage to her, at least. Consume the cookie here for some mana. Which will turn out to be unnecessary if they don't even stay in lane here. But they are staying in lane. Close. Alright, let's shove this wave. Alright, perfect. J4 on the way. Sana, run, run. What are you doing? Run, run. Did what I could. <laughs> that was really stupid of her. We saw him ages ago. Oh well. Wasted a lot of my time now as well trying to help her. The right side, they didn't shove this as fast as they could have. No one will block my path. Ah, sadly the middles are just barely in range. I'm getting closer. But the casters live. Still haven't gotten around to actually looking up the data for Zion this patch, by the way. See what... Like, if there's been any change in optimal ability order, but I doubt there is. It's just something that I should look into. We can shove this. Jinx is almost certainly based. Lex is just delaying this crashing for as long as possible. Oh. 
Three fours back. Oh, my ghost didn't activate. Oh, did I never use that? No, I just used W, didn't I? Oh, God, that was long range compared to what I expected. Oh, man, Jinx has a level lead on me. That's so unfair. Even got more solo XP than I did there. All I have is a CS lead. She's probably well, maybe not ahead in gold because she would have only got 75 gold from her assist, but she's definitely not as behind as she should be. Ow. Get him. Ooh. Fucking hell. Get him. Get him. Okay, thank you. Now go triumph. No! Needed to be more patient. Okay, she still dies, but no assist for me. Damn it. Oh well. I mean, let's have that I don't get a triumph proc there. Leave it, leave it, leave it. What the fuck is wrong with her? I guess I should have stayed to clear the wave. But I couldn't have known. Hopefully Jinx ruins the wave state. Because at the moment she could create a freeze and deny me the entire wave for free. But stop pressuring her when she's actively ruining her own wave! Don't interrupt your opponent in the middle of a mistake. It's like... The Art of War, Rule 101. Written by my boy Sun Tzu, or whatever his fucking name was. So she could have just based with me instead she stays the fuck up my wave. Nice. She stays the fuck up my wave. And uh, and only recalls once I'm in lane so she can leave me 1v2. <laughs> it's like she's intentionally trying to sabotage me. Obviously she isn't, but like if she were trying to sabotage me and making it look as little obvious as possible, this is how personally I would do it. That's how I'd go about it. Well, actually, I mean, to be fair, taking your ADC's wave is, like, the least obvious way to go about it, now that I think about it. Or most obvious. The least subtle is what I meant. That's fine. Unless she gets hit by that? Okay, cool. Damn it. Got her, holy crap, I didn't expect her to die there. And I'm dead. So now if she walks forward and tanks that, 
Oh, actually, he wasted a Z. Oh, god damn it! Lost vision! God, that sucks. Okay, at least Jinx died. Perfect. What the fuck, man? I'm so sad. We could have actually pulled off an outplay there. I just needed to actually auto Galio instead of walking into a Z. Fuck. Or his W, rather. But that's, the, that's actually the worst part, is he did not expect me to walk into his range, right? So why was he charging W? He made such a huge miss there, and it works out because I lost vision and pressed and right click forwards by accident. Oh well, uh, we'll get this, I guess. Ah, oh, this is awkward, though. Now we gotta do this, I guess. Come on, Zoe, you got this. She actually does. She's still got Ignite. She can get movement speed with that. Oop. Good send ult. Fucking nice. Yeah, I needed to ward that brush. If I warded that, that would have been able to probably just... Regard, like, he only would have been able to kill me by flashing on me, and he would have taken a lot of damage in the process. Probably wouldn't have been able to kill Senna after. And if he doesn't have flash, decent chance that I just survive. Maybe I don't kill him, but he would have to run away from me to not die to me. Oh, because I didn't ward is the only reason why I went differently. Or, uh, well, not just because of that, but also because not only did I not ward, but I tried to auto even though I didn't have a ward, which caused me to walk forwards. Nice one, Zuck. We need to place more vision before we can play aggressively here. Thankfully I got two trinkets here, so we get rid of this blast cone. We can also place some vision... I guess here would be fine. Ah, here is good actually. There we go. Oh, what the fuck? I guess it's worth it just to dodge that. Did a lot of damage as well there, but Sun is dead. That sucks. Am I gonna die here? Fuck, how did that hit me? Okay, we pop ghost. Did a lot of damage in return, at least. If we don't ghost, then we probably eventually have to flash, which is even worse, so... Could've told you in advance that something bad would happen with Senna staying in lane while, while we should be warding, though. j is still on the lane. Lux wouldn't cancel a base there, and <laughs> unless he's there, exactly. I have flash in case he, like, EQ ults. Oh god, he actually got, had to range them up, bud. Okay. Didn't have my in time to root him, but oh good. I might get Jinx ulted. Sort of god, Sunday will find a way to die here. She's dead! <laughs> She's dead! <laughs> Oh my god, man. Props to her, she's being very subtle about it. Nobody would guess she's doing this on purpose. <laughs> Whoopsie, just a misposition. Oop, now Jinx has 300 more gold. On top of the 900 other gold I gave her. I can get a turret here. Talking to anybody about anything is never on my to-do list. Enemy killing spree. Unstoppable. Your team has destroyed turret. Ah, damn. Okay, I can base now. I only just got into lane, but I've already got 1300 gold. That's nice. Okay, there's a Herald and a Drake up at the same time, so I would rather prioritize the Drake. 
since we already have two of them we'd like to get three and then four if possible just gonna ping in it advance make sure everybody's on the same page here it's on a farming boss so I, so I gotta go mid okay garlic currently no e and no w I was trying to hit him with that. Oh well, I still showed the wave really fast anyway. We can't really pressure her with our mid laner and base, Ringler and Golems. We'd like to try and get this turret if possible, but it's just too greedy right now. We don't have nearly enough vision either on bot side. Like this ward keeps us relatively safe from J4. It's not impossible that he could gank us through here, but at least we know it's not through here. But we have no information about if, whether he'd gank us through the side there, so... Can't afford to overextend. Gonna get a turret. Speaking of which, Senna has no wards and Drake is about to spawn. Oh, nice. Maybe be another one? Okay. Nice. <laughs> Handed right over to me. Break up in 20. Okay, J4 and Lux are dead now. Should be free turret, now a free Drake. Okay, I gotta say I'm liking this cookie setup. It's definitely much more viable to not run presence of mind when you're doing this. I've noticed no mana issues so far. It's only like 120 mana, but really makes a difference considering how small your mana costs are. It's like one one full extra set of rotations. Can we get the strike? Somebody is doing the strike. <laughs> I don't think Zoe noticed she had lens. Hey, I got the blue. Cookies are no cookies. So I like blue. Especially so when I'm gonna worry. But I don't yet. It's all cool. Close enough. It's not worth staying. This is like the perfect base timing because of how far away any incoming wave would be. Like I could go to Raptors, but then I'd be missing out on this wave, although I was always gonna get that anyway. I don't even know what I'm doing here. And regards to my feathers. Yeah, this way I can just get the raptors anyway, as well as the red buff and then the next middle lane wave after that. I don't mind if this is a bait. I've got the tools to survive potentially. Just depends on how many people are collapsing. Wait, this is not our Galio. Fucking all that damage. Oh, no, no, the Lux ult as well. Fuck! Two globals, man. And I got hit by both. Ah, I'm sad, man. Thought I would be fine there, but that was... I got hit. I literally got killed by all five of them. <laughs> oh, my lord. That sucks. Definitely should have survived, though. That was, that was my own bad. I had the tools to survive there, like I said. I just played it bad. At least when I think it's free turret for that. You got overall a lot more gold for that than I than they got from my kill. Although there was no reason for Senna to die here. Like this this packs onto the amount of gold they got through this, right? Because if I was there, they would not have killed Senna there probably. 
So instead of just killing me for 500 gold, they also kill Senna for 800 gold. Which dramatically lessens the effectiveness of Renekton trading my life for a turret, you know? Anyway, I can get all this topside farm. And let's go to Crab. I don't want to turn around for the wolves because it's in the opposite direction of where the enemy champions are, where I might want to fight them. Damn. Ooh, this could be good. Come on. Ah, damn it. Oh, that blows. Got no fucking vision. Okay, nice. Still have no fucking vision. Then has four trinkets or four wards. There's no reason for there not to be a warden here right now. Now she places it. <laughs> now that I'm now that I'm not at risk of dying there. I did so much damage there. Holy crap! Ow. Uh, I'm probably dead here. Very much dead here. Where am I? No. Oh my! Fuck, it just barely didn't cast before I died. Okay, not bad. At least I baited a good fight. Overall, they took so much fucking damage there trying to get me down. And they had to overextend to do it as well. I'll gladly take that trade. Nice. We'll go for Bloodthirster so we can keep playing that aggressively and just not get punished for it. I think our damage should be enough. This one is behind this hell, so I'm not too worried about being able to kill him. And we get a soul. It's been ages since I had this freak soul. Check that damage. I'm on the way. If Zach uses adults, he's gonna heal a lot, and this buys time for me to help him. We easily. Oh god, my god, wait, he's actually soloing that. What the fuck? Come on. There we go. <laughs> the fucking soul makes it so easy to set up the pattern combos, actually, this uh, Not even fair. Alright, nice one. Zack is actually a monster, what the fuck? Your team has destroyed an inhibitor. Ow. Nice one. <laughs> nice. And I'm back to full HP. All is good with the world, except for the fact that I got ulted. My bad. Can't root him. Oh, actually, dead, but I can't kill him, though. Should be able to base for Bloodthirster. And then we can also get Baron. I think my team is gonna stick around though, right? Yeah, I'm basing. 
Oh, Prota is getting blue over. Getting red buff though, because that's also closer to the Baron. Oh, I didn't even see how low it was. <laughs> Could have used the secure. Probably should be Lost Whisper next. Use it, use it. Use it. Damn it. Rid of them. Nice. Alright, well now is when I would recommend to be pushing top, but nobody's tough. I guess they're on their way though. What? What was that Lux ult? Ow. I don't think I need to ult here. Not yet at least. Okay, I just need to life still. Ace up. Ow. Alright, GG. Yo, what up gamers? We are back for another game of Zyat the Diamond. Starting off with what the fuck is this? <gasps> Execute. Okay, at least Yumi gets XP. Yo, what up gamers? This time we're gonna be playing Zaya Yumi into Kaisa Leona. So I like the Kaisa matchup, uh, or at least whenever I play Kaisa, I fucking hate this matchup, so I guess I'm gonna like playing it as well. We got Yumi, who just got hotfix nerf today, but I'm hoping she'll still be really strong. Didn't quite see what the nerf was, something about her Q damage, I think. We'll see how it is. Nice one. Actually, I shouldn't have gone for that lost auto trade. Not worth trading against her. Fifth shot, for no reason. I have no idea when Leona's hitting level 2. Does she have Hexal Flash? No. Just regular Flash. Yep, my Yumi might be dead now. We'll see. I might be able to kill Kaiser here, though. Yeah, she's dead. Come on. There we go. And I got Triumph, so I'm all good. Could have actually run cleanse or uh wait. Oh shit. God damn it, my bad. Anyway, yeah, I could have run overheal this game. Forgot about that, but no worries. We get double long sword. It's better than getting only coal. It's 10, 20 AD versus 7. Would be really greedy to go cold there, no matter how big my love for it is. Oh, oh, Nice. Now LeBlanc is in a rough spot because now Ariana QW outranges whatever LeBlanc can do. So be it. This wave state bot is a disaster for me though. No wait, no it's not, no it's not, no it's not. I forgot. The enemy wave wasn't actually here yet. No, this is really good then. Nice. So Zai just missed out on a, or Kaisa, just missed out on a full wave, except for maybe this Kalstar. Maybe. Yeah, she just missed out on a massive amount of farm. That was really good for me. Definitely a shame about dying to Leona there, though. That was easily preventable. They may have vision there. 
Here we go, here we go. Okay, cool. Weird that uh, Kaisa didn't even try and flash away from me before, by the way, because I would have still had my flash to chase her down with, but at least it would put me a lot deeper into enemy territory and make it much more likely that I would die to Leona, even if I didn't play like an idiot, you know? Also, this is troll. What is she doing here? We need to ignore Leona and just go straight on, Zy on Kaisa. There we go. No! Fuck, that was so close. Oh well. That's when Yumi for detaching there. I actually did need that damage. The extra damage from the Yumi autos if that kill was gonna happen. Oh. Maybe then, now we'll see. If that can actually block the second Momoki, then maybe not. Okay, this is good then. What? How does it go to Yumi? That doesn't even make sense. Was she even attached? Yeah, I, yeah, I think she was attached. I guess she must have queued. Oh, yeah, this could actually be really smart. Echo, please, please. Oh, for fuck's sake. Now they know that we're just sitting in lane really low, man. This is so annoying. Got her? Do I actually escape here as well? I do. Okay, so we just le avoid letting her land the fifth shot. We disengage for now. Now we can re-engage now that the fifth shot is down. Okay, let's go. Thank you, Yumi. She's playing really well. Goddamn. Better than most diamond Yumis. This guy is back. Lovely. Okay, he's got no Q now. Maybe we can turn that into a kill. Ooh, that Q though. Fuck. Not gonna be a kill then. Do we at least get to shove it in? Oh, goddamn. Oh. Okay, I got him. And she's gonna have to run now. Do I have red buff? No, I don't. What? What is this minion block, bro? Whatever, I'm dead either way to this LeBlanc. At least it goes to LeBlanc and not to Kaisa. Dude, how long have we been getting ganked? <laughs> Holy shit. Non-stop. Meanwhile, Echo was doing golems. That is so insane. <laughs> oh, well. Okay, this triumph has been popping the fuck off though since I switched to it. Goddamn, especially this game. Got a crazy amount of feeling overall from it. Actually, could I do cool here? No. Yeah. Yeah, it's only seven minutes. Fuck it. We got time to build my favorite item. <sighs> uh, no way. Nice one. This mid lane is such a fiesta. It's twice now I've seen them both get this low. Where are they at? My CS lead is gone, sadly, but look at the kill lead. That's fine. <sighs> she might be baiting, we'll see. Don't mean even if she is. Anybody who could come and prevent that is just gonna die. Or up. Is it like she's gonna die before they could even help? There's two overextended there. Good use of flash though. Probably worth giving your life under a flash for a pink ward. Alright, Momo was even top, so he has zero chance she was trying to bait or anything. Just really greedy for the pink there. The only time she can really go for that pink is if uh I'm stuck under turret lost heading because I don't want to give up my lost hits. That many lost hits at least. Was this Leona arriving back to lane already? I think so. Yeah. 
Oh, hello. We'll try and kill Zai or Kaisa. Damn it, she CC, doesn't she, though? You hear me? Alright, that plus. My bad, I didn't think about the Blank. We'll be able to get Kraken Slayer here. Uh, should I sell my potion for it? Yeah, fuck it. I don't want to delay getting into lane here. This could be good. Whoa! But, but you don't have to flank the ult uh, flank the Q on her, man. Just ult right on top of her. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, at least the kill doesn't go to Kaisa. Oh, my lord. I see why she's dying every time I look at mid lane now. That was terrible. So we get some platings here. One solo plating at least. Now we're sure at one. There we go. I don't currently have ult. So. Wanna play it safe, fish. Hello, Momo. Okay, Leona's in the brush. And he's back. <laughs> That's fine. And we're just running towards Kaisa, so she can't have the option of going to Echo. Putting myself between Kaisa and Echo. We weren't in any rush to kill Leona anyway, so. And then if Kaisa greeted Trent to Kalako, then I would have killed Kaisa instead. I can definitely dive her, I'm not gonna base her. Well, this is risky if LeBlanc tries to kill my jungler and mid laner. I'm perfectly fine here pretty much no matter what happens, though. I don't have to be afraid of LeBlanc. It's pretty, pretty much I was just afraid that maybe LeBlanc could interrupt this Drake, but looks like no. I think LeBlanc is still sitting around somewhere trying to make a play, because she was full HP, right? And she, yet she's not farming mid. Oh, she actually did a recall, I guess. Maybe low on mana. Maybe she actually was missing HP. I'm not sure. Anyway, yeah, we're running cleanse this game, by the way. Uh, completely mandatory against both Leona and lane, and then also moment team fights. Already putting in a lot of good work for us. Yeah, I think a ward here will be good. Okay, I've currently got ult. We should be able to win a fight easily. Okay, here we go. Oh, I meant ult, but whatever. Fuck. Okay, I need to run now. Ah! Okay. Nice one. Fucking hell, I got... I was rooted for fucking, or stunned for fucking ages when I wanted to press C. Then when I finally got to press C, that's the exact moment Kai ulted to the side. Oh, god. Wait, I'm fucked here, I think? Or... Yeah, no, I'm still fucked. Damn it. Need a Jimmy attached to me. Um... She might have something cooked up here. Yep, nice. But it's an execute, damn it. Oh well. I suppose it's too late to review that fight now. Yeah. 
But here, there's no benefit to having Yumi attached. Just, like, when we need her for DPS, like, sure. She's been doing a really good job of that, but... No point in the attaching there. Could be getting heals if she would just, like, sit up, sit on me and just Q me. And also, I would be getting move speed boost for Marie if I needed it. Okay, I'm pretty sure Leon at least got the kill there, right? Yep, perfect. No shutdown for Zaya. Don't currently have ult, so this is a little bit risky if uh, Leon had Blast Cones over here. I do have cleanse though, just not ult. I'm on the way to mid lane, or to here. You can do anything there, but it looks like no. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. Can stay mid, or I can go bot. I think I'll go bot. It's gonna be the next wave that gets crashed here. Because Kaisa is already here where this wave is. So it's going to be a very fast crash, whereas they don't even have the chance to shove this wave yet. So if I don't go bot here, somebody's going to be missing out on farm. I won't, but Orianna will, so. We want to get this farm. Not we, like as in me and Yumi, but as a team, we want to make sure somebody's getting this farm if, if possible. So everybody's getting the maximum amount of farm. When I catch out Cole, or even sooner. I'll get to... Oh, no, Yumi. I'll get to Bulnavori. Wasted Q. Alright, maybe she isn't better than the average Diamond Yumi. At, le at least she plays... Um, She detaches more than the average Yumi does. Mostly when it's good. Drake up in 10. Play some vision here too. Yep, we just want to rush this. Can use Q and E, but I don't want to use W. W is very important for anything fight DPS. Probably more important than your QE root setup. Oh boy. We'll rush over here, ignore the wave. We're gonna fight here, if anything. Got her. Uh, we'll keep going, I guess. <laughs> Somebody actually did stop to get the wave instead of actually helping us in that fight. <laughs> That's so greedy. Oh. That's not even the fucking real one, is it? Ah! Uh, ah, fuck! If only my E came up slightly sooner. Oh well. Yeah, that wasn't even the real one. I trolled that so hard. Oh, bud. Still, uh, did I have a shutdown? I probably did, right? Or did I die too recently? No, I don't think I had a shutdown, so... Yeah, I mean, Kaisa basically... Like, sure, it was stupid of me to even get that low. But the only way they could actually punish me getting that low... Was by Kaisa dying, which wasn't even worth it, necessarily. Basically, I baited... At best, a neutral decision from Kaisa, but probably positive to us, since I don't think... I don't know if anybody on her team even got an assist for me dying. Oh, boy. I'm on the way, buddy. Oh my god, there's a lot of people here. Oh god, what the fuck? Ah, fuck. Bro, was she- did she not have Q on cooldown or what? Can't tell if she's a genius or what. Cleansed early because I was expecting the fucking Q. Well, she wouldn't Q. Damn. 
think we need to go Lord Dominix here. We got three tanks. I don't even know what this gear... This gear and build surely can't be viable. Oh, he doesn't even have a mythic. What? Strange. But it just means that I'll have to build Lord Dominix. Don't want to overstay there, but we can definitely punish at least that much. I'll have to path around here. No reason to let myself get a Blanc comboed for no reason here, even if I'm not gonna die. You gotta let me have that, man. He would have the gold anyway. Oh boy. Uh, we could do Baron in theory, but it goes on the wrong side. Yeah, actually, this could be a good play. Awesome. Oh, I missed my route, didn't I? Yep, whoops. So what the fuck? I don't even know what they were going for there. The Blanc wasn't even there to follow up the Leon engage. Oh. Got her. <laughs> I knew she would do it at that moment. <laughs> oh yeah, let's get the spare and this is more worth than the turret. In theory, like, Echo could stay and get that turret, but uh, no point trying to com trying too hard to communicate that when it's just a slight optimization. I don't want to confuse him. I confuse the team. Actually, I should have been saving my E for the secure. Could have been very bad. Because my jungler didn't even have smite. Yeah, I've already got Lord Dominic, but there's no reason not to shove this wave. There we go. And I don't even have to sell coal for it. Oh fuck, I should have told him to leave me red buff. Oh well. Holy fuck, I got s boots at 7.30? Really? I didn't even notice that. That's so fucking early. I'd love to take that wave, but the trick is already up. Hello. I've got cleanse if I need it, but I mean nobody's following us up, so try and help Oriana, I guess. There we go. Oh. Nice one. Um. Let's get the strike. Oriana can push. Look at that fucking chunk on the Drake, man. Perfect. I'll push bot, actually. We can get maybe two turrets here, or at the very least I can just get more farm than if I go mid. Probably not two turrets, actually, but free farm for sure. I got Baron for a fast recall here if I need it. Actually, I do get this turret. I melt this. Okay, now sticking wave, sticking around for the wave is a little bit risky, but oh, what the fuck? Wait, I didn't see that coming, my bad. Where the, when did Amumu get here? I never saw him, fuck. Come on, Olaf. Okay, that's an assist for me. Oh boy. He didn't focus uh, uh, Kaisa, who he needed to focus. Oh well. Do 
Dude, I usually would do Bloodthirsty here, but I feel like with this amount of gold placing on, I may as well just go for a Zeal upgrade. Either Fire Cannon or Phantom Dancer. We'll do Fire Cannon. Just no point delaying such a big power spike. I prefer to work at night because you know the sun, bright, yuck. Cause I probably won't want a base for a while. Or at least I won't have the base for a while. Dude, I almost got her. Oh, well. Yeah, this is why we would also like Blood Tester, though. <laughs> I'm massively low and I don't have as much life still as I could have. Hello. Fuck. I need to leave. Oh, look at these heals. Holy shit. Well, I'm thinking enough that I can deal with Garen. There we go. Got her. Actually, I got the fucking healing from Yumi as well. I forgot. This is huge. Huge healing. Even without BT. Fuck. Okay. Dude, I even heal off of Taurus. It's crazy. Did I get this red buff? Is it up? Yeah. Whoa! Was he trying to take that? <laughs> Almost didn't get that. Look, you can see my HP bar going up every single time I auto. Even on the inhibitor. Yep. I'm having trouble here. I've got no cleansing ult. <laughs> Fuck, I was stunned for so long. <laughs> my bad. Hit it to flash first, the Leon ult, or whatever hit me first. <clears throat> oh, it was actually the Leon E, wasn't it? Yeah, no, I was just, well, I was definitely like. Positioned more aggressively than needed. Oh. And then I just walked them for the auto when I shouldn't have, because Leona's the lady. Yeah, I actually could have gotten away with that, except I walked in for one more auto. My bad. I needed to wait until we died, like, their team had committed cooldowns on the people that weren't me. Or that, or until I actually had a front line since my team was retreating. Until other team... Uh, we shouldn't be doing... You shouldn't be doing Baron. I could have- I should have rushed over to Baron immediately, but now that I'm here, I might as well take the red. Still, we can get this Strixel. And now I have ult and cleanse. Oh, what the fuck? Who's here? The hell? So fucking dead, god damn it. Did I go wait, did I go recall? Okay, Jesus. Nice. Excuse me? Why did he recall? When I should have been positioned there. Like, if I don't have backup for my team, but we should have been, like, you know, trying to take that fucking Drake. The hell is Echo playing our recall in there? Oh, but of course, he lost all this fucking HP to Baron, which he was trying to solo. That's why he recalled. That's stupid. Okay, at least we still got the Drake. This guy does zero damage, man. My hands are off my keyboard.
Yeah, we can do burn now. Here we go. Nice one. I died to. I don't even know my <laughs> whatever, GG. Yo, what a gamers. We are back for another game of Kaisa. No, Zaya, the diamond. This time we're playing Zaya into Samira with the Spurs being Karma versus Rakan. I should win a fight here, extended trade at least. Just because I've got the lethal tempo, but I don't want to drag that out too hard with Rakan there. Anyway, that was really good. We just massively delayed Vi. I don't know why they didn't just accept us poking them and back off because that was not worth for them. Oh man, Karma, careful. You gotta watch out for the potential of Rakan, the flash W. Exactly. She's dead. You could easily just flash his W, man. Let's pop Ghost here so we don't have to flash to get out of here. While still being able to trade back. Do they have heal? No, they only have exhaust. Here we go. Got them both. Get fucked. That's why you take W there, because uh, it's actually very rare that you want to go Q into W. But if you know you're going to be all inning like that, and you're, you you know, you won't get the chance to set up the feathers behind them, because they can easily flash it or something. You're just going to be dueling them with just straight up autos. Then, uh, yeah, W's going to be a lot better there. Especially given the fact that I needed to be chasing them. Or, I mean, Samir ended up trading into me in a way. But I was expecting it to be a chase, so I needed the movement speed from W as well there. Um, sure. Let's try and shove in another wave. Actually, we can just leave the costers. We don't need the costers. I'd have to overextend too hard for the costers, I think, because I could easily get Rakan W'd. I don't want to risk taking a bad trade there. Either way, once we've killed the melees, we know this wave is going to be in a good state, so... <coughs> Hopefully I get into lane in time here that I don't have to... Lose farm. I mean, if I was them, I would have just slow pushed. Because, yeah, by this point, I'm not really going to miss out on much. I might just miss out on nothing, we'll see. No, I'll miss out on at least one CS. Oof, just barely two. Man. Whatever. <laughs> Didn't catch what Karma was doing, but she must have roamed at some point. Then she's not in lane. And it was a decent roam timing. Since I didn't need her help. That's fine. Ah oh man, can't get her though. That was a close one, she almost missed. Got her. She's dead. Nice one. What? How did Karma get that? Excuse me? 
How does she even get that? What? I'm so confused. Wait, Rakana's dead here. What? He could have lived? <laughs> what the fuck? I mean, I guess uh, must, or, or, uh, Karma must have landed an auto, right? I'm gonna check it while I'm recalling, I think. She can have that plating. Okay, my app isn't coming up. Guess I'm not checking it. Might be frozen. Yeah, it looks pretty frozen. Oh well. Not a big deal anyway, it's only one call out of three. Can be pretty satisfied with three calls. Oh, this is another lane where I could have gone. Overhill, by the way, but it's not too important. No Definitely in the early game, this helps me more anyway. The, the thing about going overhill is, I think it's probably actually not as good if you're smurfing, because you can just constantly force good fights. Uh, fights that you maybe only, like, survive in because you're going triumph. But the overhill definitely scales better, and I would say that's better if you're not, like, completely smurfing over the enemies. Let's go play some vision. Ward here. Take this. Clear out this. Let's place a ward here. Protect our middle laner. As well as giving us vision of like them entering this river. So we can know in advance whether we need to play safe or not. There we go. We could also probably consider doing break soon. We can slow push this wave, then hard crash the next one. I can definitely shove in this next wave, uh... For Viego finishes red buff. Oh, he's gonna do golems, in which case this crash would be too early. Nice one. Could also dive. I mean, they're far too low now to ever contest this break. Let's find out how that girl. Ooh, I missed. Oh god! Damn it. Okay, at least we got a shield. Oh fuck, my bad. Bad W. Nice one. A lot of feathers. <laughs> Alright, we get this uh Drake, right? Yeah. Seems why I died to Viego. Alright, uh, actually I can probably shove another wave, right? Even though it's a kind of wave. I think the 180c in the game who can be this greedy and get away with it. Barely takes me more time to shove it than a regular wave. <coughs> Holy fuck, I already have enough for Kraken Slayer. I'm huge. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm probably never going to run Presence of Mind again for the rest of the series. I like this too much. Puts the fire I mean, I guess maybe Triumph will fall off once I get the higher reloads, but... I'm seeing that I can get away without Presence of Mind. Without I get away with not running that. Which means we could just run over heal. Which is going to be a really good late game. Yeah, that's fine. I might be in trouble here. Let's pop ghost. <laughs> Fuck, my bad. That was greedy. No need to go that aggressive. Let's do uh golems. Oh.
Gives us a small bit of healing, gives me something to do while I'm waiting for them to crash this wave. Oh, my bad. Some more burnt exhaust as well there at least. Uh, we don't know where Vi is, so I'm... Oh, okay, we see her. I mean, I can still base, though. I don't need to stay here for this plating. I think that would be greedy, because... Sure, I can try and serve in another wave after the plating to make the wave stay good, but for all I know, they're walking in here with the wave, and I'm too low to actually shove it. Who can test the wave. Yeah, and that's exactly what happened, so I would have been being greedy. They recalled so early that I, I just can't risk going for that wave. <laughs> Damn. I guess Vigo didn't have W. Honestly, watching Aurelian Soul gameplay, is, it just looks like such fucking bullshit, man. Like, the guy just sits there fucking spamming his fire right, you're not clicking anything, just sitting there staring. It's such low APM gameplay, it just looks wrong. It's like Yumi for mid lane. Didn't get to see that kill, but I bet it looked bullshit. Oh, we should be pressuring some air here while Rakan is mid. Nice free plating for me, solo plating. Vi may have ult for all I know, so... Ha! <laughs> got a double root. Remember, I've got ult here, that's why I can afford to do that. It's hard for them to punish my aggression there. If they do it, they just get hella baited. Assuming my team follows it up. If they don't, then... Oop. That should be a kill, right? Yeah. And I don't even need to use ult. Holy crap. Just need to use channel. Ooh! Ah, fuck. Oh, what? Wait, oh, it, it executes. What the fuck? I could have ulted ages ago. My bad. There go, no. Oh, no. That's a quadra for the hyperscaler. Wait, is this their top liner? No, no. That's the, that has to be their mid liner. They just swapped, right? Ooh, Shen. No need to get so fancy with it. <laughs> If he just flash and eat away, he would have been fine. <laughs> oh well. Let's get this. And this. If he's actually their top laner, then that's crazy. But he just got a quadra from bot lane. <laughs> Oh no, Karma, what are you doing? Ow. Why did I get hit by that? Alright, we need to wait for him to shove this in so I can find him safely. Thankfully, the, we don't really take any damage when we do this camp because it's so squishy these days. And really easy to kite. Because it, unlike Gromp, it actually does melee damage. Let's go for it, actually. Low IQ in play. <laughs> Just run out of run auto or And we can get the strike, but I'll shove in this thing first. In fact, I can also get this turret. Surely they can wait for me, right? Okay, I've got Navori very soon. Very soon. I've got calls, so I can get a like one wave sooner than you might expect. Tavern brawls just seem to find me. Might not even have to sell it depending on when I base though, because I don't want to insta base necessarily if I can keep on pressuring. Like if nobody's defending this. Okay, that guy's defending. I think I'll just base. <laughs> I'm going now. Where? Anywhere Although, actually, uh, where fuck, Camille's gone, but. I'll just base. It's not worth delaying this. Rebellion puts a fire in my blood. He plays one to two against me. I guess he was landing top then. Hmm. They swapped and he got random kills off of Rome's. 
goes to show why Valencel is such a terrible top laner and such a good mid laner. And I gotta say, I still don't properly understand this kid. Like, I'm sure I probably wasn't supposed to dodge him there, but I didn't realize he could execute me. This could be good. Nice one. Alright. I'm happy with that. Come on. One auto. Did I get the root? I did. Perfect. He was about to get through. See, it's like I mentioned in a previous game earlier in this video. Like, you can, even if they're walking at a bad angle for you, you can get that root off. So long as you do the Q QE, like, super fast after your first auto. The, f the auto that puts the feather behind them. Oh, hello. Alright, nice one. That was not fucking worth it at all, bye. Alright, I don't have a blue buff. This is gonna be Rallin Soul. I say let him come. Did we get a sun? Nope. Real time parry wrong, didn't she? <laughs> oh well. That's just free as fuck. Right? There we go. Oh yeah, I do have blue. Nice. Where's your gold for me? I think I'll shove in one wave and recall. We'll go Bloodthirster third here. We have a massive lead. We don't have to worry about our damage. Our damage is fine. We just need to be able to 1v1 absolutely anyone here. So bloodthirster it is. If my only death this game is just me getting cheesed by the execute that I don't know how it works, then I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> I feel like I know most of our Violent Souls kit now. I just didn't realize he has an execute. I'd heard something about it, but I have no fucking idea like what- I had no idea what it was on. Or how it worked. I guess he only unlocks it at a certain point, right? Like his ultimate upgrade. Oh my lord. Ah, oh, fuck. Got him. Haha, <laughs> he didn't see that coming. I had feathers behind him. Fucking knew he would be trying to set up a play on me there. Fuck. Nope. Okay, I live at least. Uh, Samira? Fuck! No, my bad. My mouse was bumping into my phone. Whoops. Alright, that was silly. Well, first fuck up is wasting ult on Jen. Ult. Ah, I wish I could bring up the replay, but it's just frozen. And I, I'll try and close this app. Last time this happened, it wouldn't work until I closed the app like hours later. Anyway, it's all good. This is definitely salvageable. I nearly got Bloodthirst anyway. But basically, yeah, I mean, I've, honestly, I probably should have just let myself get ulted by Rakan. It wasn't worth using my ult like that. Just to not even actually hit anybody with it, not even actually get hit by pot potentially by anything. I just kind of panicked. I thought he would, like, RW, but he just actually R'd towards me and just never cost anything else. He just walked at me, and I ulted because he was walking at me. Such a pussy move. I right, got Bloodthirst after this. There we go. Oh, actually, but I should stick around for the Drake. Bit an ideal that I, we have to fight for a Drake, probably. Right when I'm sitting on such a huge prospect, but that is what it is. Maybe we can actually rush this before they even try and contest, though. Got it. But I did not expect that secure. Ah, uh, goddammit. Fuck me, I'm dead. Almost certainly. Yep. Fuck. That's so close. How is this guy not dead yet? No way. Okay, I think we t might win the fight overall. I don't think a million did told. Okay, that worked. Holy shit. Holy fuck. Such a close fight.
And my free play up still hasn't closed. I need to shut it down in Task Manager, I guess. Oh, it's not showing up there. We'll figure this out later. Next item will probably be Lord Dominic, since this fire is building weird as shit. Reminds me of the Garen earlier. We can get wolves and blue. So we definitely don't want to go buff or farm and. It goes on the opposite side of the map anyway. Maybe I can store the red as well. Oh. Fuck, and now I'm on the wrong side. Yeah, this is more important than the red buff. I'll do this. Oh, hello. Fuck, I didn't notice this guy. Got him. Fuck, no. I'll get ult now. We can do it still. They don't re they don't realize how good my uh Baron Secure is. So I'm just gonna save E. Won't even use it for damage. I probably could have used it once, but oh well. Definitely now I just wanna save it. Don't wanna risk losing it. Oh, let's hope I don't have to buy my words. Perfect. Thing is, you don't actually get an exact timer like you do with Smite, so it's easy to just mistime it. But around 1400 HP is really what you can uh, get away with. I even did a blip, bit less damage there than I could have. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. She didn't even break my shield. <laughs> God damn it, Samira. I might be fucked now. Ow. Yeah. Oh well. Or we fight. Oh wow. What the fuck? Probably shouldn't have been fighting, but I don't surely they had time to actually move. In fact, I think they probably started near the area and just left. I don't think we should have been outnumbered there. Oh well. I was too busy, like, uh, actually thinking about how to play the fight to notice my teammates were leaving. Oh boy. <laughs> so he doesn't join us to 5v5, but he is willing to fight 1v3. Okay. Well, good. This game is pretty much in the bag, I think. Okay, I guess there's gonna be a mid wave to farm. I thought Shen would take it. I'll take the blue as well if I can. Oh, we can kill Sol. Oh, come on. Damn it. Oh well. This is our soul if we got this, which we very much should. Let's get it. Oh, he's mad at that. So it is possible to steal from Zayas, just very hard. Because technically her damage isn't all at once. Ooh. I'm getting out of here. Look at that damage, 602. That was through a shield as well, I think. Oh, 
I think I'll just base here. Oh, what the hell? What the fuck? Been trying to ping this ward for ages. There we go. Apparently you can't ping while you're in the shop. Alright, I'm huge now. <laughs> Wait, I just realized this is the fucking second game in this video where we get Hextexel. As Zaya, a champion who apparently loves it. Close. Don't know what Shen is doing in the Drake area, but... Should be pushing. <laughs> Rooted her again, holy fuck. Oh, no, I didn't notice the soul ult. My bad. Fuck! I was watching out for other sources, like the Yasuo ult. Fuck me, that was a lot of damage. Just run, just run. Okay, Brown is enough for 53, we might be, still be able to get that. There's no reason to die here. There was nothing to defend there. Okay, he's, he's gonna live. This could be good from Camille. Force them away from the Baron area. Was TPing? I really saw. Yeah. She can't really dive him. Okay. Not bad. Next, I'll get Farcon in, I think, so I can poke away at them from further away. <laughs> nice. Even if Samira had flash. Oh, hello. No fucking way. Now, nah, come on. Just fuck's sake, he's so fast for what, man? <laughs> rooted. Got her. Okay, apparently not rooted, but this ghost should also give me this Aurelian Soul, I think. Unless I get executed by his Q now, we'll see. What? The, why am I still getting slowed? That doesn't even make sense. Oh, fuck. What? His first strike proc retroactively because of his Leandries. And his uh, first strike fucking slowed me with Rallies. That is such an incredibly stupid interaction that I never would have imagined would work that way. <laughs> Holy shit. That's actually so funny. That's such an unlikely thing to happen. My god, okay. Twelve hundred HP secure. Alright, I got fire cannon. I'm out of here. I'll do whatever needs to be done. Fire cannon also lets me do the W auto Q E combo for the root from a lot further away. It's really nice. I think this Camille wants me to fight. I can take the blue as well. mid now. Although ideally top would be better, but eh. pushing two lanes is fine. Why is there Shen getting caught there though? He shouldn't be with Camille. <laughs> he can TP he can ult on the Camille if she needs it, but whatever. This is so anticlimactic though, I hate this. I want to actually beat them in a fight, not just fucking Okay, maybe I do get to do it. 
We'll have to disengage from now. We do have a numbers disadvantage. Ooh, Camille. Close. Is that, oh, is everybody dead except me? Damn. Um, I guess I'll head towards Elder. No one will block my path. I'm on the way. I don't have ult, but Shen does. This is so risky, though. I don't know if I can actually do anything about this. If their entire team comes towards me, then I can't really contest this, but... Yeah, that buys so much fucking time. Why does she not have W? What? Fuck. No! Oh, wait, fucking Elder. Okay. Ooh, I don't have vision! No! Trump! Ooh! Not even close. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, okay. Calm down there, buddy. Can't beat the goat. Oh, is Camille back door? <laughs> Stupid for that. Oh, come on, get it, get it, get it, baby. Oh, so close. Uh, I guess I can left still off red buff. And Raptors. Oh, okay. <laughs> Fair enough. GG. <laughs> Yo, the gamers, we are back for another game of Zaya. We're gonna go ahead and level W already because uh, Seth said he's gonna flash into level 1. So we're gonna be all inning immediately. <gasps> My bad. Whatever, we don't need the cheese necessarily to make this work. Just need him to flash at any point. Well, I'm not even trying to position too aggressively there. Okay, here we go. Okay. Decent damage. Does he have Hexaflash? He does. This is not useless. Anyway, my bad for giving away that cheese. She really looked like she was gonna walk close enough. My bad. Anyway, we print their exhaust at least. Now we'll level Q, because he isn't really going to be useful if we only have three feathers from W. What does he want? Oh, to kill Talon on blue? Ward. Sure. We can also ward here. Okay, we see Talon top. I'm gonna put my potion. Talking to anybody about anything is never on my to do list. What the fuck? Can't believe that reached me. Okay, that blows. Uh, we'll pop the cookie, but we're gonna be low HP for a while now. Mommy wasn't even the one sped up. I don't know how she managed to get in range for a bubble there. Okay. There we go. Easy kill there. Huge fuck up from Samira. Nice. That lane should have been set for ages. I get it. Set. Oh, what the fuck? Ah, oh, that hit me. Ah, and I'm dead. Probably. Okay, not bad. I've got Triumph. We may as well commit here. Oof. 
Set, no! <laughs> okay, at least she's dead. Uh, leave that wave, leave the wave. We have to commit there because we have no time to exit her auto attack range, so maybe, by pure chance, maybe, our lifesteal from Doran's Blade could be enough to actually survive that. Coupled with the Triumph proc. Oh, man. Okay, so the wave is gone for me, but at least it's at the advantage of Samira getting super low there. Which may be worth it in the long run. No, 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 stay in cheese. Oh, oh well. I guarantee you Samira will overextend now. No, she's kind of healthy now. Never mind. Okay, we'll just leave it at that. Don't want to keep trading into Samira once my cooldowns are down. Ooh, nice one. Nicely played. I will disengage now. Yeah, every, t every time this happens, by the way, I've just got to hold on to my Q and my E, because if Samira presses W, then she's just going to block all of that. I have to wait until she's used W before I can Q. Alright, that's decent damage. Oh no, fuck. Wow, I'm so fucking low here. Nice one. Tolum might be on the way, but I'm at least getting the plating first. Solo plating, let's go. It's so tempting to just risk this wave. But what would be the point? What would be the gain? Look at my look at my items. Look at my or look at my gold. Think about how many items I can get with that. And think about how much of a difference. 180 gold would make. I'm dead. Uh, I'm alive, I mean. <laughs> Trams just saves me there. He fucked up there. He, 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 without cooldowns, he couldn't kill me. That's why I was pathing towards him instead of away. <coughs> yeah, let's do this. Good shit. Yeah, so actually, I need Set to be more careful about not letting Samira get an E, because every time she paths, like, down to get behind Set and then E onto him, Set could also path down, and then she's walking into us for no reason, right? If he just never lets her E in the right direction, she's massively screwing herself over. She's taking a huge risk every time she does that. She's basically praying that Set won't outplay her, when it's a very simple outplay once you know what she's doing. Fucking hell, she has six. And she's greedy. Good to know. Well, she might at least have backup there and I could at least like take the bait and then just back off after doing a ton of damage, but nope. No backup. She just really wanted that. Uh, I guess Katarina's on the way. I have ult, but I won't survive if it's Talon and Katarina, which it is. Nice try. Whoa! Okay, we'll pop ghost. Come on, come on. No! Fuck! Oh, did he flash? No. I think he just jumped without me seeing, but well. Okay. Oh. Uh, didn't get a root there somehow. Lethal tempo is enough, baby! Oh, hello. I mean, we have a interrupt for her ultimate, so it wouldn't be a disaster if she jumps on us there. Oh, my bad side. How much mana do I have? Enough for a root, but... Let's 
fine. We don't need to fight there. Okay, I've got enough for Mythic. We could stay, but honestly, I don't find it worth it. I just want to... Like, imagine if we, like, you know, manage to all enter there. She actually does face check, and then she gets cut out, then she flashes away, and she lives. Then I, my recall is cancelled for nothing, and I don't get this wave. The priority here, honestly, for me is, rather than trying to get, like, 300 more gold, I just want to get this wave, as well as base for my Mythic. Once I get my Mythic, I'm going to huge impact, and I'm not delaying it. Well, he's fucking dead. Hope he at least got his transform. Ooh, Samira's ganking mid. Damn. Not much I can do here. The moment I start shoving this, Samira will return bot and just grab all the free farm. The, only, the best thing I can do here is freeze. Didn't really attract much aggro there, but it's fine. This entire wave should die. This is how I maximize the amount of farm that they lose, because I can't even pressure the turret much, because again, they will get into lane instantly, and they'll defend the turret. Fuck, you know. Okay, I just barely got that. Come on. Chase me, chase me. Yes! We managed to create a freeze out of nowhere. This wave was fully under turret, man, and I still managed to freeze it. Okay, I could should have jagged it all the way to the minions, but whatever. Or maybe not, I, I don't have a vision. Okay, for some reason their fallen is still there. We're not in the farm, we see Samira dead now, we know she can't instantly rotate, so we get some free time with this turret. The freeze would continue to deny farm, but we can we can deny farm either way now. Now that we know she won't get her in time. This way we just also get turret platings on top of it all. Two solo platings. I basically got a kill out of this, which is the same as what Samira got, I think. Except I've also had a whole lot more farm than her. Is she trolling? She has to be trolling. There's no reason why she wouldn't have gone bot here. I don't actually want to keep pushing, though, even though I know Zaya's here, because I don't have enough information. I don't know where Talon is. I have a lot of gold to spend either way. Like, Talon probably doesn't 1v1 me, but imagine he's just got Nami on him. <laughs> Nami, he just... Single-handedly gets me killed. No point taking that risk just because I know Samira is mid and Katarina. And even if I don't die, even if I uh, just have to stop pushing the turret. Such a waste when I have all this gold, uh, gold uh, base for, right? Ah, not bad. I will just push her though instead of freezing because like if Samira happens to rotate again to wherever I want to make sure that I'm in a position ready to push and that we can also just clear our vision here anyway. Yeah, let's get up soon. It's useful in the sense that we can at least force Talon to use E and not have it potentially available still as an escape. Alright, no point shoving here because set is not going to be useful under turret. <laughs> that was terribly MD. Or Q. Ooh. Okay, I still get her. Fuck. No, I didn't time it right. Wow, how did my ult go on cooldown? I didn't even see my ult. Alright, my bad. I played that perfect. I thought I had more feathers here, I gotta say. Thought that I would root Nami by using either, but I just completely wasted it. That was a big issue. Oh, my app is working again. I never actually shut it down again after the last one. Oh, yeah. My feathers all ran out, actually. Only had one behind Nami at that point. 
Okay, still, so that wasn't too bad for a 2v3, but uh, Tal ended up getting a shutdown from me. We absolutely could have done more. Seth played it really suboptimally, though. He also fucking knocked Samira out of my feathers. I mean, I, I hadn't used D yet, but I had no option but to use it in a, like, suboptimal way. Because there was no way to angle myself to get Samira with all of them. And it was just a complete waste. Like, he could have used that to CC somebody else, not somebody who was about to get one-shot. Um, we're just gonna ignore this way for now. Okay, I guess Samira- Oh, no, she dashed, okay. Oh, no. Got her. Thank you, Nami, for the- f Okay, not free kill, but just for dying for free, I guess. Oh, hello, Riven. I wasted my E. I should've, uh, set up a brute. It's all good, it's all good. We got them all. Do some real quick help here for Kane. I'm just gonna use my E and then I'm backing off. He can get the rest of it, and I can go. D no way! They surrendered. Excuse me. And I okay. I mean, I guess. <laughs> Samira felt like she was trolling at one point. And Karina's build is trolling as well. So, all right. GG. You what a gamers? We are back for another Zaya game. This time we're playing Zaya Senna into Felios Renata. So can we just take a moment to appreciate that I still have zero losses this far into the series? I'm actually shocked. Even that one 4v5 where we had it, where our AFK AFK had like 30 minutes into the game and was hard trolling even before that. Can't believe that one wasn't a loss. Maybe I'm jinxing, jinxing myself right now, but I hope not. This is gonna be the last game of the video. Let's hope we end on a win. I'm not surprised that Zaya is the ADC that I managed to do this on, though, because she is, like, really versatile. Never bad. I've always said she was a good blind pick. This is why. God damn it, I keep barely missing these lost sets. Oh, my bad. Bad E. That was a really good one, though. <laughs> they forgot about all the feathers that were still behind them. Not a root, but that's fine. I still deal do a lot of damage with that E. I haven't been keeping track of Elise, and she's definitely the kind of jungler to, like, cheesy level 3 ganks, so... Let's go play some vision, at least. You might be that here? Ooh, okay, he noticed the feathers this time. Oh god, I have no idea where Elise is. She, did she start red, uh, red buff? I think so, right? Yeah, okay, she's topside, thank god. There's a lot of breathing room. I can't do too much here on the turret, but hopefully Senna can. Senna, Senna can? Senna can? <laughs> Never mind then. Alright, we got another cookie, getting slightly healthier here. We won't even uh, start pushing them on the turret though, unless we think they've recalled. Just force them to walk up if they want to get farm. Sabotage takes patience and time. And that's a pack of daggers. Bro, this minion block, that could have killed me. <laughs> Holy shit, not how I meant the path. Alright, nice. He's losing a lot of farm here. Like he may as well recall if he's gonna give up this much farm, right? But I think we should actually just start crashing and then just recall. It may seem a bit weird when we're getting advantages in this wave state, but we know Elise was topside and should have based by now. We know that the next natural place for her to come to is bot lane. She knows her bot lane needs help. I think I just want to crash this and recall. 
We'll see that if they freeze this, then I will stay. But I think they're gonna, yeah, they're gonna cancel that freeze. I would have preferred to base on a cannon wave, but I don't really have the liberty to do that when I'm this low HP. And again, still nearly Suzu is gonna be bot side. <clears throat> Bit shady that I have to get a worse recall than Aphelios, but I'm gonna acknowledge that we were vulnerable there. So this gank definitely would have been on us if we'd stayed. Oh my lord. <laughs> Had to shake that at least. Alright, I still have a CS lead, but might be a bit behind in XP now since I think most of the last hits that Aphelos missed in the 2v2, he would have at least got XP for, whereas some of those last hits that I missed, all of those last hits that I missed there, I wasn't even getting XP for. Damn, I think she gave him the cannon. Good one. Now I can just QE. Huge damage. So at least his top side, we know that. Or she almost certainly is top side. Nice one there. He's struggling. Alright, let's go place a ward in this try. Clear this out. Stay in position so I can actually help out Senna if she needs my help. But I won't pop through here though. I don't want to get queued by Renata while I can't actually trade back. So we'll keep on shoving waves under turret here, especially because there's a cannon wave. I feel this might think it's worth the base here. Like, this is the best time to base, really, if you're going to base at all. But Azaya, though, I can shove in this wave so easily. Yep, you can tell that he's based because Renata's trying really hard to freeze there, but obviously there's just no chance we're both in lane like this. Um, I think I'll go for one more wave at least as well before I base. If she manages to land a W on Renata here, we could maybe dive as well. Okay. Mm, I'll disengage though. Can't keep trading here. Yeah, got Renata. That was really overly aggressive. What is this next wave? Cannon? No. We can sh stay and shove one more wave then, at least in theory. There must be an at least there. I didn't see her, but... Those pings seemed very confident. Please, the next wave is a cannon wave. God damn it. At least you fucking... W word. My wave is ruined. <laughs> <laughs> or my base is ruined. Either my base is ruined or I have to stay ages to get a better base when I just want to base now. It's not ideal. Okay, if Felicia's starting Drake, then surely I can shove here, right? Because I don't have much mana this time. But maybe... Maybe it's enough. I'm shoving this first. Okay, I've got enough mana for W. Um, no, this is not even close. What the fuck? Even if I was there, what are we gonna do there? God, I hope they have no vision here. I don't think they do. At least would be on the way. <laughs> I'm so ballsy, man. But I'm right. If I was there, at least would not be back enough. Or sorry, if uh, they had vision, at least would not be back enough. Like, the Aphelos and uh, Renata movement wouldn't necessarily be any different if they knew that I was there, because they want to, you know, keep up appearances that, that they don't know that I'm there, but the Elise uh, uh, movement just says it all. They did not know that I was there. I got no ult, so I can't really fight here, but... Let's move forwards now. Try and cancel the bases. Okay. 
Oh, that- what the fuck? Do I need to pop ghost here? No, I'm alright. What the fuck, man? I mean... They were certainly basing this, just a bit unfortunate that Elise was right with them for some reason. Lord behind me again. Yeah, there we go. Okay, I've got ult, so I might survive a dive, which they still want to go for. She has no vision here, except... Okay. Perfect. I saw her coming in for the dive again. And I might survive, but I would certainly miss out on the entire wave, right? So... Let's fucking... Fight her off. I think, um... The bullet is actually recalling, finally. Let's crash this as fast as we can. We're not just gonna stick around and freeze. That means the fellows is actually ba in base. We can also stick around for one more plating. There we go. Do I want to go for another wave? So there's a cannon wave? It doesn't matter actually, I'm Zaya. I shove it either way. There we go. I just need Senna to make sure she doesn't freeze this. Perfect. Exactly. If I'm lucky, she'll cancel my base because she probably doesn't have vision here. Yeah, nice. She just blindly thrown her Q, her root thing. She would have found me. Well, Aphelos has one assist up on me, but at least he's really far down in farm. 20 CS down about. Is that a root? It is. Ah, fuck. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Senna. Okay. Feels kind of a waste of ghost, but... Well, I mean, I burnt flashes, didn't I? I'm not sure I would have rooted if I didn't ghost. Then again, if I didn't ghost, they might not have flashed and would have actually died. Is this? Oh no, this is our jungler. My bad. Kevin, no, please don't. Please don't. Oh, she's forcing me to take tower aggro if I want to get my own farm. Senna, why? Why you? What the fuck was that, man? Oh, we are so fucked. What the hell was that? <laughs> I really type a chat, but I really have the urge right now to say, What the fuck was that, Katarina? But I won't do it. It doesn't help. But seriously, what the fuck was that? What the fuck was that, man? Like, she got exhausted, sure, but that was not even close. That was not even remotely close. She was basically dead before she even got to them. Like, what the hell? And that's my leap thrown. When they scale better. <laughs> that was like, Apelosa skills Zaya. Renata skills Senna. We were barely ahead because of the Elise ganks. Okay, fair enough. At least it took them a lot of jungle attention to get to the point where they were even. But this time we get a bunch of help for our team to set them ahead. Like, what? Completely even and we fucking lose because my team trolled. Or at least the Katarina did. Like, what? I should just got a kill on Jace. Bonus 300, so 600 gold off of them. Nice one. Hopefully she won't be useless at least. Um, I can shove another whiff. We saw fellas mid, right? Or was that just Renata? Wait, fuck, no, I should go for Drake. Careful, careful. Come on, I'm even on the way, man. There's no reason for that fight to start so early. Oh, fuck. Oh. This could be very, very good. Fucking rooted so I can't dodge the Elise thing though. Oh. Fuck, man. God damn it. I suppose there was a good reason for Karina to not be there. I hope. 
can see what's happening there. I hope it ends well for her. Let's see. Karina based on 30% HP. Yeah, like, I guess she kind of has to. I guess. I mean, I think a better player would have made it work, but I can't blame her too much. Like, even if she's low, she can still do a ton of burst before she dies. And it forces them to focus her to finish her off instead of focusing somebody like me. So I can do more damage. So I think it was the wrong call to recall, but... We saw her recalling and still did it anyway, you know? The main fault, I would say, lies on Senna. We're just getting so massively chunked out as I was on the way for no, no good reason. Once you could see them headed towards her. Uh... Can't really defend bot. But this is such a disaster how ahead of Pelos has ended up. Let's try and get Jace if possible. I don't even know if he's low or not. No, we won't be able to. He's gonna recall. Then let's just hope that Zack can get a gank off here. Is Renata right check Oh, okay, we see Renata. Meerkat, Meerkat. Okay, nice to me. That's not for us too hard. We can probably just get this turret. Damn it. Fuck. Oh, and there's a Darce behind me. Fuck, that blows. And the team will just rent the top lane when there's... Presumably a fight already happening mid when he... Did. This game is just a uh, tough one, man. <laughs> I actually jinxed it, didn't I? I think we just get... We get outnumbered in every single fight is the main issue. I can't carry that. And I'm not ahead enough because of the early game shenanigans as well. Like I say, I'm not ahead enough. I'm just sure I'm not ahead. We never managed to kill them, we only got a CS lead, and even the CS lead was lost due to teammates messing with us. Also, they didn't really get Zack ganks. Which didn't result in any of the lane getting headed instead of us either, so, yes. Yeah, just a recipe for lack of success, isn't it? It's fine, we don't have to win every game. But we'll do what we can to try and turn this one into a win still. Try and get this chase for starters. You don't have to fight. You don't have to fight. There's no point in Zach dying there. Like, you see what I mean? Like, what the fuck is that? So easily preventable. Just let Sana have the kill. Why are you trying to steal the thousand gold shutdown from, you know, technically the support, but still a carry? And dying for the effort, like, what, man? I'm sure, like, he knows it's bad, he just does it anyway. Let's get these raptors. Not because I'm mad at Zack, but because I need to- Oop. Fuck me. Yeah, I'm screwed there, my bad. My fellas, um... Uh... It doesn't matter, no point to, at no point would my ult actually save me there, it would just delay my death. These are the fellas to not show up there. Or is, actually, I mean, Senna also just did not use her W as well for some reason. It's kind of counting on that, I'll show you. As far as I know, there's no reason for Senna not to use W there. Or her Q, Q, Q slow also might have saved me She might have used that already, let's see. So far, no Q. We run into Darius, I think this, I think this is bad for him. To keep on chasing me here, because I've got my root so that I can use whenever I want. So she used the Q, but then she just misses the W on somebody who's walking in a straight line. You see what I mean? Like, that was the main issue there. I could root him after that, but, uh, like, I was mainly... I wanted to root him after the Senna W. Oh, hang on. Chase might also be a smurf based off of his mechanics.
holy fuck. <laughs> I was willing to tank that if he went for me, but... Oh, no, he had Ignite. Fuck. Yeah, I was willing to tank that if he went for me, but I straight up did not expect it to come nearly that close to killing me. Yeah, he's smurfing. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, I can't, I can't carry in a game like this if it's also an enemy smurf. <coughs> It's like a, it's a 15 kill smurf versus a 2 kill smurf, what do you think wins? When his entire team is ahead as well. Yeah, 86 for someone red so far in his games. Oh well, I'm a smurf, can't complain about other smurfs. But I can certainly point to why this game is not going to be carryable. On top of silly things like Zack you know, handing over a free kill, trying to steal the shutdown. Doesn't take a smurf to get a free kill off of that. Okay, nice. God damn it. Okay, he's dead. Unless Timo dies, don't die! Fuck, man! Okay. Oh, Jace is back. Let me run, let me run. <laughs> Holy fuck. Jesus. Okay, now that I got Navori, I actually managed to do something there, and Jace wasn't even in that, in that fight. Don't fight him. Don't fight. Do not. Do what I know you're trying to do. We just get free from here. I'm definitely going Bloodthirster next. I need sustain to deal with the Jace poke and the Jace burst. Well, the shield is for the burst. Well, everything is for the burst. The shield and the sustain. that <clears throat> talking to people makes me want to stab them try and do what I can okay that's a free vote on Darius I don't want to flash in there Okay. Fuck. We got Trump. I'm still dead though. Ah, damn it. Suppose then I had to leave. Oh, but you better run, buddy. Nah, she just gave him a free kill for no reason, man. Can my team stop doing this? Maybe she lives, maybe. Nope. Yeah, it's like I said, like, what the fuck? Just leave, you know they're headed there. <laughs> oh, man. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know if it's worth selling Dorn's Blade, because I could really do with that extra tankiness once I finish Bloodthirster. But if we get into a fight before I finish Bloodthirster, I'm going to be really sad that I... Oh, uh, no, I suppose... Uh, yeah, I think holding on to Dorn's Blade here is the right call. It's not a tragedy if I end up fighting before I finish Bloodthirster, but it would be worse to fight on... Um, Dorn's Blade than it would on BF Sword. But there's the chance that I can just hold on to it and then keep the Bloodthirster and the Dorn's Blade. All of which might be important. So, we probably have to just give up the brown, I think. Maybe Zack steals it for some miracle. Nope. Alright, get out, get out, get out. I'm just gonna get these golems and that should give me... BT without needing to sell Durin's Blade. Although if I need to, I will sell Durin's Blade. Fuck, I might need to. This is fucking sad. Okay, we got Timo pushing. Doesn't really matter, though. 
Yeah, they're gonna get the inhib regardless of what I do, so... I just need to be there for the Nexus turrets. But we need team out the base as well, come on, man. Ah, oh, fucking worst part is that I get BF or, or I get Bloodthirster anyway. Oh, this could be good, though. I didn't get the root down chase, though. Ah, what the fuck? I can't pull. <laughs> really, man? Pulled into the Renato. Jesus. Alright, that sucks. GG. It was not exactly unwinnable, but... Certainly not very easily winnable. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this in the future, guys. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Later, gamers.